The President, uh, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The Chamber is now back in session. L'audience reprend. Before our adjournment, the floor was uh, taken by the co-prosecutor, and Avant they haven't yet finished their questioning. So now uh, the co-prosecutor may continue your questioning. Et donc Thank nous you. allons l'inviter à reprendre son interrogation de Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, last week, the accused mentioned a person called Sarporn, S-A-R-P-H-O-R-N, and described him as the deputy governor of Phnom Penh in the Long Nol regime. Mr. President, can I seek your leave uh, to put a document on the screen uh, for all parties to, to view? This is the first of the documents on the list that I circulated yesterday morning. The President, yes, the trial chamber agrees. Will you do your own uh, slide? Yes, uh, my associate, Mr. Ford, um, is ready with the computer. If I can also ask the audiovisual unit to switch the court monitor uh, to the computer of uh, Mr. Ford. Thank you. And the document that I wish to show to the accused in Khmer has the ERN number of zero zero two two seven six three four and there are both English and French translations of this page and I'll come on to that in a moment. So if I can ask the accused to look at zero zero two two seven six three four two two seven six three four Mr. Kankek Iu, can you look at this writing on the screen that you see before you? And first of all, can you tell us, please, whose writing that is, if you re recognize it? Identifier l'écriture qui figure sur ce document. Mr. Pro, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, this is my handwriting. Il s'agit de mon écriture. And perhaps, if you could please read out slowly what you have written on that particular note. De ce document. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire ce que vous avez écrit et lire ce document lentement? The accused. Our intention that we want is Notre intention want the actual location of their group. Et de localiser so the word one here is what I included, group, just for clarification. Juste pour so our purpose is we want the actual location of the group, their names, their physical descriptions, le groupe, le nom and their plan, their description physique, and their project. Point final. This confession is misleading. Cette confession et tendancieuse. Because we instructed them the way to write it clearly. Trompeuse, reprend l'interprète, car nous avons ordonné aux personnes de décrire lisiblement. The brother to be mastery. Nous demandons to press them aux firmly. frères d'être fermes. And they 
basic torture. However, to constantly follow the their confession, to show them the right la direction on time, but do not let him die. Ponctuellement, ne lui permettez pas de mourir, quel que soit. Can I ask Mr. Ford to please? Uh, move to the page immediately before demand, that. Demandez à Monsieur Ford de passer à la page située immédiatement avant. We don't have a translation of this in English or Khmer. Il n'existe pas de traduction. But I wonder if the accused can please confirm whether any name appears on that page at the top, and also help us with the date. Tell us what the date is. Pour ce qui est du haut de ce document, et de préciser, d'en préciser la date. L'accusé. I believed, although there is no English translation, the national co-prosecutor and the co-prosecutor can, can identify that the name is Saul Pond on the top of the page, and the date is 9 September. 9 septembre 75. Can I ask Mr. Ford to show the next page we wish to show to the accused, which is 00227723? And there are two parts to this page. Cette page est en deux parties. Firstly, can I ask the accused to tell us whose handwriting is in the upper part of the page, the one that is being currently displayed on the screen? L'accusé. This is my handwriting. Il s'agit de mon écriture. This is my actual handwriting. Il s'agit effectivement de mon écriture. And please, uh, Mr. Kankek Eel, if you could read out what you have written once again. Monsieur Kankek Eel, si vous voulez bien procéder à la lecture de ce que vous aviez écrit. Mickey, the accused. L'accusé. This is not uh, actually a, a letter, but it is pas, my enfin, note to the victim. Mm -hmm. Who was being investigated? Note à portant sur une victime sur laquelle porter sur laquelle porter une enquête. The president, I noticed the defense counsel. J'ai remarqué que Maître Rousse souhaite intervenir. Je, au nom de la Défense, je ne souhaite pas que l'on demande à l'accusé de lire ce qui est écrit sur ce document. Il s'agit, euh, il peut commenter ce qu'il a écrit il y a plus de 30 ans, mais le procédé qui consiste à lui faire lire aujourd'hui un écrit qui a plus de 30 ans n'est pas un procédé satisfaisant. Il peut le commenter, mais je ne souhaite pas qu'il le lise lui-même. Alors, si quelqu'un veut le lire et le traduire, je n'ai pas de difficulté, mais ça me pose un problème qu'il le lise lui-même et qu'il donne ainsi l'impression de se l'approprier aujourd'hui avec 30 ans de décalage. Mr. President, I'm very happy to read the translation that we have been provided by the translation services. It was felt by the co-prosecutors that the best person to give the best translation of this was the accused. If the President directs me otherwise, I'm, of course, quite happy uh, to read the English translation that I have, and perhaps the accused can correct it if it's wrong. We're in your hands, Mr. President. Mr. President, 
Monsieur le Président, puis-je suggérer que le greffier fasse la lecture Monsieur, et on posera après toutes les questions que l'on veut poser à l'accusé sur ce document. Mais je ne je maintiens que je ne souhaite pas qu'il lise, qu lise lui-même. Merci. During the hearing. So, if for the co prosecutor or for any other PT who débat. wish a document to be read, Donc, please raise the issue to the chamber and the chamber will assign the greffier to read that particular document from now until the end de euh, of the proceedings of the document. trial. Donc, the greffier. Ceci est valable à partir de maintenant et jusqu'à la fin des débats de Mister cette chambre. Mr. Deutsche Perry, you can read Monsieur the document. Le Brafier, je vais vous inviter à donner lecture That's de ce document. That the co-procureur attempts to note its content, et le which co va and the document is already acknowledged by the accused. Le, le document a déjà été reconnu par l'accusé. Mr. President, just for the assistance of the greffier. Uh, we just wish to uh, the greffier to read out the first half of the page. So you will see, uh, Mr. Greffier, uh, there is some text. There are points one, two, three, and four. There are two more lines, and then there is an underlining mark. It's only those lines that uh, we wish you to read. Thank you. The He sent the people to Omland. He answered, he gave more people than the, those he, in his previous statement. No Maradi, No Sun, No Sun, J Narep, J Narep, and another person. The name is forgotten. Dont le nom était oublié. Point number three. Point numéro he three. Said he used to be involved with Noon Il in 1970 to lead the artist group in Phnom Penh. Later on, Noon. Left Plus tard, Noon, to sector uh, 25. Uh, he was not sent there. Um, I'm afraid the, the greffier read the wrong section. Um, it, it would be of assistance to all parties if the document could be displayed on the screen at the time the greffier is reading it so that we are all clear that it's the same document that's being referred to. So if we can. Please uh, put up the document again si on the screens. Thank you. The Graphia. Request to provide details information as follows. One, de, uh, is there any JKACI office? Y -il un bureau de if there is, J -A -C -I, where is it? Si oui, où se State, -il? street, location, floor, et as clearly as possible. Que possible. Two. De. The re-education camp camp in Bang Trabai also Bang Trabai needs to give the location as clearly as clairement. you, Paul, know. Uh, Three. Que possible. 
47 people. Pan, trois. How many of them Sur go abroad? Personnes. And how many are still in the country? And who are they? Combien Four. Um, Clearly state existent. each person's toujours, parents. Ces personnes sont qui? Home address. Quatre. Déclarer clairement as clearly as possible domicile, um, de for those who have husband and wife pour ceux qui give ont mari et their femme, home address donner give the home address of their parents in law de ces personnes et donner l'adresse de famille de leurs beaux parents thank you mr president and the Je final section la... of this confession of sar porn that we wish to be read out. Uh, first of all, can I ask the accused to look at this page, which is 00227729, and the box that has been highlighted, the top box that's been highlighted. Could the accused please tell us whose handwriting this is? À qui appartient cette écriture, Monsieur l'accusé This is not my handwriting. It is possible. This is Brother Momnai's handwriting. Que ce soit l'écriture du frère Momnai. Thank you. And can I ask you to look at the the next box below on the same page? Qui se, qui va être uh, and ask you again, encore. do you recognize that handwriting? À la même page, puis je vous demander si vous reconnaissez cette écriture. I accusé. still think this is Momnai's uh, handwriting. Il s'agit toujours de l'écriture du frère Momnai. Thank you. So, if Mr. Greffier, please, you could read out Monsieur those two boxes that we've just referred to, starting with the top one, if we can move to the top de, one first. Que nous And again, just the portion which is outlined in blue. En Mr. En Greffier, blue. if you could read that. Thank you. Le rectangle bleu. Si je peux vous inviter, M. Greffier, à lire le, ce qui est contenu dans cette, uh, graphier, ce rectangle. Qui a son carte que... The abbreviation is T-T-N-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-
robbery the and accused, Mr. Co-prosecutor. Mr. Co-procureur. I hope you have read the documents of a Sopon on each page and make your uh, judgment. But I would like to uh, state that j'aimerais déclarer que perhaps you can have more understanding on the case of Sopon in 1973. Or in 74, I am not clear on this uh, on the year. This person, Sir Paul, was not the deputy governor of Phnom Penh City. He was the deputy governor of Phnom Penh District. This Sir Paul is the deputy governor of the South of the Phnom Penh District. He sent uh, one child to Omlian. And the name of the child was No Maradi. No In the con his confession written by Brother Mom Nice, the name of the child was No Maradi. When the Southwest group arrested the person and sent it to M13, I assigned camera point to interrogate. And he said, so Paul, the deputy governor of Don Pain District, sent him to work in the countryside because he had his relatives living in Omlian. I don't wish to stop the accused from talking. But on this occasion, the question was simple. Was he involved with his subordinates in interrogating? Unless the trial chamber finds it interesting for the whole history to be discussed, the point I was seeking to make was that at that early time, he indeed was the interrogator or, or annotator of this confession. I don't wish to explore the, the detail of this confession with the accused, and I'd be grateful if the accused be, could be t directed not to uh, discuss in detail this confession. The president, uh, the accused, uh, do you understand the, the question? If you don't understand, you can ask for clarification, and then the co-prosecutor can uh, reframe his question. Um, the accused, uh, Mr. President, I understand the question, but uh, my intention was to uh, have a better understanding so that the audience in this hearing uh, do uh, Mr. President, allow me to do so, or just uh, to give a short question, uh, answer? Uh, the President, uh, please answer uh, in short answer. Uh, when uh, uh, he arrived on the 1st of uh, uh, September, uh, September uh, 1975, um, Sopon was detained in the Mur Monirat uh, resident. My superior, Sonsen, wanted me to interrogate, but I don't have time uh, to interrogate because I was busy with collecting the documents uh, from various uh, residents and then not uh, like uh, to use Mom Nai uh, to interrogate So Pon and uh, advise me to uh, uh, to help in the interrogation. So I was the one who ordered to Mom Nai. And this document uh, was uh, prepared by uh, Mom Nai, and Mom Nai was uh, the one who interrogated, and uh, S21 was not established at then, and um, not ask Mom Nai to, uh, for help in that case. Thank you. Can I move on to the next document, to which we seek to put before the trial chamber of Um Sun? 
And is it possible, please, uh, for the audiovisual units to transfer the link? Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. President, um, I didn't seek your leave. Can I seek your leave to, to display this next document before the court? The President, yes, the Chamber allows it. Thank you. And I, can I please ask the audiovisual team to direct um, the screen to my, my colleague Mr. Ford's computer so that we can display the document? So, can we please uh, look at ERN in the Khmer original, zero, or should I say the photocopy of the original, 00172792. And my first question to the accused, can you look at the annotation in red? And can you please tell us whose handwriting this is? The accused, my handwriting. And if the greffier could please read what is written in red. The president, uh, please, Doug Perry, read the, uh, the handwriting. Uh, did not uh, confess torture. Thank you. And moving on to the second excerpt from Um Soon's confession. ERN in the Khmer original 001. 72799. Might be a little difficult to see, but we'll highlight it here. Could the accused please tell us if he recognizes that handwriting? And if so, whose it is? The accused, yes, I know my handwriting. And please, Mr. Greffier, if uh, you may read with the President's leave uh, that inscription, if it's possible. The President, Mr. Duc Paris, please read uh, the handwritings. It was about the, the name of Mir Teng. If, uh, if uh, it's really Mir Teng's name, um, comrade, please, comrade Choi, uh, under the effort of of the leadership of. Uh, for, um, uh, it's, uh, it's like uh, to disclose or uh, to beat it to uh, get a cut on the face uh, to uh, confirm uh, the this uh, female uh, she is like those uh, uh, Sam, like those of uh, Sam. Mr. President, for the record, if uh, we may read out what we have translated in English, um, which is maybe it was Mies Keng, if it was Mies Keng under the leadership of So Teng, hit him on the face for this lady. Chankri Thierry, it is the same as Yot Sem's people. And those translations are available in English and French. And the 
third portion of Um Suen's confession that I wish to call on the screen is 00172800. And again, if the accused could please uh, look at the annotations, all three on the side, whose handwriting that is, if he is able to tell us. The accused, uh, these three uh, annotations uh, were mine. C'est mon écriture qui uh, apparaît ici dans le cadre de ces trois annotations. And again, if the greffier is able to read, if not, we can read out the translation that we have, both in English and French. But if you are able to, Mr. Greffier, that would be helpful. If you could read out all three. The president, uh, please, Doit uh, Paris, uh, read clearly the annotation. Les annotations. Uh, please specify clear, clearly to uh, follow the stance and the activity. Uh, propose a request. It is a assignment a measure. Uh, uh, the teacher of this contemptible, if uh, he do do not did not know his uh, family name, uh, please ask the identity, including teacher ear, Chi Hing, including Ok Ying, and we should press uh, absolutely. Uh, the president, uh, Judge uh, Lavench, do you want to make any observation? Please do so if you have. Simplement une question pour clarifier et pour le, les notes d'audience. Est-ce que je peux comprendre qu'il y avait des traductions en anglais et en français Est-ce qu'il serait possible d'avoir les références des traductions Reference numbers for these translations. Certainly, Your Honor. Uh, for uh, oui, Umsun, um the English PRN is 00223147 and 00234676. And in French, Zero zero two nine six zero three seven to three eight. Jane, look, Francois Roux. The President, please, uh, Mr. Président, Francois Roux. Maître Roux. Oui, Monsieur le Président, je, je note. Uh, Mr. President. Que la, la traduction, les traductions que nous avons en français diffèrent French, des traductions que uh, nous venons d'entendre ici à l'audience. Je serais intéressé de savoir qui a I fait ces traductions sur les documents. Est-ce que le procureur peut nous éclairer Parce que visiblement, ce n'est pas les mêmes traductions que celles que nous venons d'entendre. Uh, uh, can you respond to uh, the request made by the defense counsel? The defense are aware that these translations were conducted, performed by our office, the office of the co-prosecutors. Uh, if uh, the defense have any difficulties 
with any of the translations, they need only raise them. Like us, they too have uh, native Khmer speakers and readers. Uh, and in fact, on the correction of the Khmer that was translated, the English that I received in, through my headphones was not the same as the English that I have read on the page from our translation and had confirmed by my national colleague. In particular, the last phrase, uh, which was Kru Ia, Che Han, and Uk Yun, all will have to be crushed into pieces. If there is a difficulty on the translation uh, or any dispute into the, uh, the translation, then the defense need only raise it. The defense can raise any objection if she wants it. The president. Uh. The president. Um, uh, next, uh, the uh, translation issue uh, might cause a problem, but uh, the difference uh, was not uh, material. Maybe uh, the problem in reading of the uh, handwriting, and it is not uh, very clear, and the greffier uh, could not read it uh, very well. And it might be uh, uh, the case that, uh, please, the greffier, uh, read uh, clearly based on what you uh, see on uh, the annotation. Uh, so a cycle of tea, uh, could help, can help with that to read uh, the annotation correctly. And in case of uh, urgency, uh, the greffier could uh, sit and read so that when you stand and read, uh, the position uh, may cause you uh, difficult to read so you are not uh, in right in front of the screen of the uh, monitor. So uh, in uh, the future, we may uh, get it uh, better. Please, Mr. Co-Prosecutor. Lecture, Monsieur le Co-Procureur, vous pouvez poursuivre. Chez nos enfants, François Roux. Maître Roux. 
François Merci, Roux. Monsieur le Président. Pardon d'intervenir à nouveau, mais mon problème est plus un problème de méthode. J'entends que ces documents auraient été traduits par le bureau des coprocureurs. Or, si je ne me trompe pas, ce sont des documents qui viennent en principe du cabinet des juges d'instruction. Ça ne devrait pas être traduit par le bureau des coprocureurs, qui, une fois encore, est une partie au procès qui n'est pas une partie objective. Donc, cette, la réponse m'inquiète. Est-ce que ces documents ont été traduits par le bureau des coprocureurs Dans l'affirmative, par qui Est-ce que c'est fait en interne Est-ce que c'est donné à l'extérieur Nous savons que des documents sont envoyés à DCCAM pour traduction Comprenez le souci de la défense. Ce sont des documents qui viennent du cabinet des juges d'instruction et qui sont traduits par on ne sait qui au bureau des procureurs. Pardon, mais j'ai un problème. Monsieur le Président, We are dealing with a, a non-issue here. Je crois que vraiment ce problème n'en est pas un. Uh, the, earlier on today, the defence, through the accused, raised documents that had not been translated. He was permitted uh, to rely on those documents, to bring them to the court's attention, and to have them uh, verbally translated uh, by the interpretation team in this courtroom. How is it proposed that the co-prosecutors put documents before the trial chamber unless it can raise them in the trial chambers we are doing? My learned friend is uh, mistaken when he raises this as an issue. We are intending to put documents before the trial chamber. We are doing so and we are assisting the trial chamber in providing the languages of all, all three languages of this court. I do not see a problem with that whatsoever. The President, uh, Judge Lavange, you can make a comment. J'aimerais avoir des précisions sur ce que les coprocureurs entendent prouver. Est-ce que vous entendez simplement prouver qu'il existe des documents qui sont des confessions, euh, qui ont été établis à une date bien précise et sur laquelle il existe des annotations de la main de l'accusé Ou est-ce que vous souhaitez avoir des détails plus précis sur le contenu de ces annotations Parce que j'aimerais je, je, ben, avoir des, des clarifications, parce que si c'est simplement sur l'existence de ces annotations à une date bien précise sur des documents qui sont des confessions, je pense que peut-être cela simplifierait les choses. Thank you, Your Honour. The co-prosecutors were raising it not only to show that Doik at the time was ordering, uh, was annotating the confessions, but also that, as we have read out, he was ordering torture and he was ordering that certain enemies be crushed into bits at a very early stage in the establishment of S21. It's twofold, therefore. One, that he was there and annotating, and two, the content of those annotations describe his role. Merci, Monsieur le juge Lavergne, pour votre question. 
Et merci à Monsieur le procureur pour sa réponse, qui, est, qui, qui, qui justifie mes observations. Le procureur nous dit, nous essayons de prouver que l'accusé disait, il faut écraser en miettes. Ça, c'est la traduction faite par le bureau des coprocureurs. Et tout à l'heure, quand le greffier a lu le même texte, il dit il faut poursuivre sans relâche. Ça n'est quand même pas tout à fait la même chose. Mais j'ajoute... Suite à la question du juge Lavergne, qu'il y a à peu près 10 000 confessions, peut-être, qui sont annotées par l'accusé. Donc si le procureur essaye de démontrer que l'accusé a annoté des confessions, on ne va pas y passer trois mois. Il l'a toujours reconnu qu'il a noté des confessions. Et il a présenter ses excuses aux victimes précisément pour ça, entre autres. Once again, Mr. President, the co-prosecutors have a duty of proving this case against the accused. We have no intention of going through each and every one of the confessions annotated by the accused. But at this early stage, when we are discussing the issue of the establishment of S21, and these confessions clearly date from that period, specifically August, September, October 1975, It was the intention of the co-prosecutors to raise these documents, to have them confirmed by the accused, to show that indeed, from those early days, this is what he was doing. And with that, Mr. President, your leave, I will move on to the next point. The final confession from this early period that I wish to put before the Chamber. Again, with uh, the leave of uh, the President, relates to a confession of Bun Narak. And please, if the audio-visual unit uh, can display on the screen the, from the computer of uh, Mr. Ford. If you'll bear with us a moment. Thank you. This one is a confession from Bun Narak, this document. And can I invite uh, the accused to look at the following page, 00226280. Sorry, I'm sorry, to start with uh, 226279 and going over the page uh, to 80. And if the accused could please look at that handwriting and confirm whose handwriting it is. The accused, this is my handwriting. We have filed translations on the case file in English in relation to the particular piece I will request the greffier to read at 00283991. And in French, 00294491. And if please, Mr. Greffier, you could read the points, point number Roman 4 onwards at page 0022628080, the passage in the red box. 
passage qui est dans un rectangle. The President Colbotti, uh, can you read the document? Number four, request. One, request to arrest Chan Sum Eun, former Secretary of the National Bank, member of the Democratic Party in Ksom, Bonti Dai Sub District 16, District 16, number two, request to follow up Kulhu and Lum Sarom, whose names Bonarat appointed, and to follow up Woon Hien, the wife's name was Bun Nunari, who were the elder sister-in-law and the brother-in-law of the confessor, who used to be the forest officer and currently living in Lepi village at sub-district, district 16. Number three, request M15 to search for member of the democratic of the other of the other members of the democratic committees who changed their stance to oppose us they did 27 october 75 my question to the accused is thank you to the greffier is it point 3 of the request that has just been read out did you, in October of 1975, in the early phase of S21, have the authority to request to other units to search for traitors and enemies? The accused. Dear Honor, Mr. President, Monsieur le Président, Madame, Monsieur le Juge, the documents that have uh, just been read, uh, I would put a conclusion on those documents before the Chamber. First, I would like to confirm that. I participated in the activities of S21 in probably October. And for the Sopons case, I would like to give uh, details into that case, but now everybody seems to understand it. I just would like to state that I did annotate it as requested by Nat to annotate on the documents of Brother Bonnay. During that period, we were not fully into the S21 with the full cooperation between Nat and myself yet. And for the document which has just been read by the graphier on the word smash. There was no wording of the word smash at all in my uh, uh, handwriting. This document, I wrote it on the 27th of October 1975. At that time, my role was the deputy. I was the, de the deputy, so whatever the chairman asked me to write, I just wrote it. Le directeur me demandait d'écrire, je l'écrivais. That is number one. For example, here, once request to arrest Chan Sum Eun. D'arrêter Cham Sam Un. At the Bon Thie Dai Sub District, and uh, District 16, now it's called Bon Thie Dai District. It's no longer District 16. 
Point number three, request M15. Demande à M15. Let me say, M15 is a security office of sector 15 supervised by Comrade Peng. Let me state that I would like to say about the uh, communication between NAT and M15. NAT wanted to take control of M15. That was the fact. I also would like to state that the surviving documents at S21, there were the methods of interrogation from M15 kept by NAT. If you search into those documents, you would find them. So in conclusion, these are my handwritings as I was ordered by my superior, NAT. Mr. President, I have one uh, last uh, question, Dernière and can, question. perhaps if I can invite the audiovisual unit Je to switch back to uh, the main view. The President, uh, the audiovisual unit, please, can you facilitate the request by the co-prosecutor? Monsieur le Président, nous venons d'entendre que Doug, l'accusé, dit que dans les documents qui ont été présentés, il n'a jamais employé le mot « écraser ». Or, nous avons vu que dans la traduction qui nous a été fournie par les coprocureurs, ce mot existe. Donc je souhaiterais, la défense souhaite qu'il soit apporté réponse à sa question. Qui a traduit ces documents pour les coprocureurs Et je répète de manière encore plus précise, est-ce que c'est Dissicam The president, uh, the lawyer, I notice your observation. Would you like to make any comments? The lawyer, I would like to respond uh, to this particular matter. At that time, the greffier, we heard the word chillet. The request to M15 to search for it. And then the accused heard the word complete. And then said that the greffier wrongly read it, uh, the word complete or smash. So I just would like to raise these uh, points to your attention, Your Honor. The President, thank you. And in order to verify this matter, the accused, uh, do you have any comments to make? The accused. I would like to uh, inform the president that when I talk about smash, it's, a, it's related to the document of our own student, the one that was read by Mr. Deutsche Paris. I did not write the word smash in that particular document. And in the letter document, yes, it, it, it has the word challenge or to search for, but the word complete or smash was in the previous document, and I did not write in that document. If you refer to the OMSEN document, you would see it. 
the president, the audio visual unit. Can you link it to the computer screen of the co prosecutor to show the document of Om Soon in order to verify this matter clearly? Whether it is the mistake of the reader or whether it is a mistake in the translation. Please display that document before you move on to another document. Donc avant de passer à un autre document, je demande à ce que le document soit affiché. The co-prosecutor, Mr. President, the co-prosecutor would like to inform the president that the translation from the Khmer into the English language of this uh, document of the co-prosecutor is uh, correct. However, probably the, 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 the translation from the reading of the graph here uh, may be incorrect. But the translation in the document provided by the co prosecutor's office is correct. Uh, and the, tra the translation from the slide, uh, if to be read by the uh, graphier, may prove this point, Mr. President. Court officer. Please present this document uh, under the protector so it can be shown on the screen. Mr. President, one final clarification. Um, to our understanding, the best of our understanding, uh, this document was translated by one of our support staff within the OCP, the Bureau of the Office of the Co-Prosecutors, not DC Camp. Mr. President, where does it show the word smash? Because in the Khmer handwriting, there is no script showing Khmer or smash or similar. So wherever the smash comes from, or was it from another document? Merci, Monsieur le Président. Donc, nous constatons bien que sur le document original en Khmer, le mot « écrasé » n'existe pas. Nous apprenons que la traduction a été faite par les services des coprocureurs et que celui qui a traduit a traduit en anglais par le mot « écrasé ». Et 
on nous distribue un document dont je pensais qu'il provenait de CMS, c'est-à-dire de la traduction officielle, et dans ce document qui porte en français le numéro ERN 0002 9 6 0 3 8 dans ce document on retrouve encore le mot écrasé puis je suggérais que quand une des parties traduit elle-même les documents elle préviennent la Chambre en indiquant traduction libre. J'explique cela parce que nous avons rencontré à l'instruction ce problème à plusieurs reprises. Et comme vous le voyez, ça n'est pas neutre de changer un mot par un autre. Voilà. J'ai donc bien pris note que, a priori, comme dit mon confrère, c'est en interne au bureau des coprocureurs qu'aurait été faite cette mauvaise traduction, a priori, nous dit-on, mais je serai reconnaissant à mon confrère, a posteriori, de vérifier qui a fait cette traduction et de bien vouloir nous en informer. Qui a fait à l'origine, ces traductions sur les documents que nous présentent les procureurs. Et peut-être nous progresserons dans l'approche de la vérité. Merci, M. le Président. The co-prosecutors, can you understand and can you do that? So this is uh, an issue of the translation on your part, and it's raised by the defense counsels, and the purpose is to identify the individual who did the translation of that document at the co-prosecutor's office, and to raise this point in the, uh, in the, in the courtroom. The co-prosecutors can certainly uh, advise the chamber, of, as far as it is aware, who translated the documents when these documents are presented to the chamber. Before I do that, it's noted everywhere in these chambers that there is a mountain of paperwork to translate, that all parties uh, must do the best they can realistically with the resources they have and with the available documents to translate. And certain documents have indeed been translated in-house by the co-prosecutors where CMS was too busy or overloaded. I'm, of course, content and happy to say to the defense that these are free translations, traduction libre, and we can certainly say that for this translation. In relation to the precise identity of the people who or person that translated this document, does this court wish me to spell it out in court? Or is that what the uh, defence are wishing? With the Wichang, the president, the defence counsel, please state clearly 
because this discussion has a lot of technical issues repeatedly relating to the issue of the translations and other issues related to the examination of documents which could delay the proceedings. Please state clearly in order to find the appropriate solution in order to avoid these repeated types of issues. Merci, Monsieur Mr. le Président. Thank you, je, je ne demande pas à ce I que le nom de la personne soit donné à audience publique. Ce ne serait pas publicly. convenable. Je demande suited. seulement, en fait, premièrement, que les procureurs nous disent quand il s'agit d'une traduction libre plutôt que par CMS. Et quand il s'agit donc d'une traduction libre, je demande qu'ils nous disent soit qu'elle a été faite en interne, soit si elle a été faite par DCCAM. L'une ou l'autre possibilité. Je n'ai pas besoin des noms. Soit c'est fait en interne, soit c'est fait par DCCAM. Il suffit de le dire et nous sommes transparents. In-house, in Mr. President. Le procureur, Monsieur le Président, cette question a été faite en interne. The President, uh, the co-prosecutors, do you have uh, a number of questions or you only have one more Monsieur question le président, to ask? Il y a encore une dernière question qui doit être posée. So please state clearly whether you have just one Donc, or you have uh, more questions to ask. Que the next président? question will involve the presentation of a document. And uh, I wonder if it, it might be an appropriate time to break now and present that first thing tomorrow. I cannot guarantee, of course, how long the answer will take. President, now it is time to adjourn for today's session. The Chamber will now adjourn. And the, I noticed the presence of the lawyer for the civil party. Fiona, can you just say very, it will take 10 seconds about um, translation and DCCAM. Can I say one word, please? Mr. Mr. President, since you already stood up, yes, uh, be quick. Just, just to, and of course my, my colleague knows that, and I'm not saying he, he said that before, but it's not in-house or outside the house in DCCAM, because as you know, there was an agreement between DCCAM and Discord, including an agreement of confidentiality and accuracy between DCCAM and these tribunals. And I know, and I absolutely know that my colleague, the defense, has been contesting this agreement, but this agreement exists. And if an office is asking DCCAM under this agreement, then it has, be, has to be considered as in-house. So I just wanted to put on the record that any translation by DCCAM should not be considered as being done outside, because there is an agreement between CMS and DCCAM for the translation of this document. That's the only thing I wanted to put on the record. I'm grateful. Thank you, Honorable President. Thank you, Mr. President. Now it's time to adjourn. The Chamber declares the adjournment for today's session. And the Chamber will resume tomorrow morning on the 29th of April from 9 a.m. Security guards bring the accused Kangi Il back to the detention facility and bring him back to the call rooms before 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. The chamber also would like to inform the participants to attend the tomorrow session and please come before 9 a.m. The court is now adjourned.